Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. What's amazing to me is that I have a sibling set that just never learned where their sexual boundaries began and ended. You see, they decided to stalk a man across the state line. They decided to harass a man while he was on campus. I have an elder brother who's a molester and a sexual predator that I've been running from now for almost three years. I don't care who he is, I don't like who he is, yet he shows up on some motherfucking campus because some little motherfucking Muslim bitch put her hands in my pockets, got her hands into my cell phone, and thought that she'd just do something for me. No, what she did was act like a 12-year-old with a gossip girl little attitude, and all they've been doing is sexually assaulting me ever since. As a man, I don't have to like it. As a person of God, I can be furious. But you know what makes it worse? Is that the fucking Catholic bitches and bastards of a local hospital with their black Muslim mental health bitches have continued the attack on a life. They continued the attack on a life to the point of debilitating a man, taking away his sexuality, taking away his rights, and taking away every fucking life, lawful right that every human being has in America. And you know what I think? I think it's time for this black attack to end. So when the military gets here, God help you. Because you fucked the entire campus into an attack that military will handle. They will handle it so quickly it won't even be funny because here's the deal. Your millions of people in America are not the same as the billions of people that don't like people that think they're going to take away their rights. And taking away of rights is not your right. People's rights belong to people. People's rights belong to the mobility of people, Peter, and people's rights for civility and social justice belong to the individual.